I went for a swim and I just realised that we are just surrounded by coral. And now I'm on fish holding duty for Riley. <laughs> so good. Right. You want to try? Yeah. I was a young man almost drowned in a river When I went Last week, we arrived at Palm Key Marina in Nassau, where Stefan met up with us again. Hey, backpacker! <laughs> we made the most of a massive market nearby to fill up the vagabond. We hadn't done any real shopping since we were in the USA, partially because anything imported here cost about a million dollars, but it had to be done. We also filled up the tanks before setting off on a new adventure west. This is the first time we've had serious wind for what feels like forever. We were pretty pumped to be out on the water again. What are you doing? I'm making up a uh, wunderbar meal for you and Stefan. What are we having? Um, Asian influenced food. <laughs> it's just rice and some sort of Asian stir fry with lots of garlic. It was really scary during the first trimester of my pregnancy. You know, it was about a week that it lasted for and every time I'd eat garlic, I would get an awful headache. Like I've only ever had a migraine once and it was migraine material. So I was seriously fearing for the worst that I'd never be able to eat garlic again, but it disappeared. And I've been um, indulging. Whenever a recipe says add two garlic cloves, I had like five. It's so good. Must be the European in me. What is going on? Um, I just don't like those storm clouds there and if we swing around there's a chance that we could hit reef over there. So I'm running a rope over to that mooring ball there. It does need to be tight. Oh, I've done it again. Put too much chilli in there. No, it's terrific. What's everyone think? Good. I'm not Germany compliments. It's really good. Mm. Yeah? Uh-huh. I'm not talking because I enjoy the food so much. Okay. Very good. It would just be nice to be appreciated a little bit. <laughs> There's been a lot of midnight stacking going on the past few months, hasn't there? I couldn't always count on you to join me. <laughs> <laughs> After a few coffees this morning, we snorkeled around La Vagabond. We were anchored at Goulding Key, a protected shallow coral reef consisting of elk horn coral and thousands of rainbow coloured tropical fish. We'd been told to come here by a number of other cruisers before we left Nassau and this dive was honestly enough to make us want to stay in this area for a lot longer. What is going on? The dive boats are going to come soon, so we have to take off this line now. I'm just going to loosen it and we're going to check how far we're going to swing that way because there's reef over there. When we came in, it was high tide and the sun was directly above us, so it's perfect conditions for coming in here. We came in and then the tide dropped and the sun went over and I went for a swim and I just realised that we are just surrounded by coral. But obviously we wouldn't have gone as far in as we did if it was low tide because you would see the colour change. So so where we had um, two metres clearance, now we've got more like one, one metre clearance and if there's one sticking up, then it could get you. So we came in and now we're sort of stranded. Yeah. <laughs> we have a line to that mooring ball. I think it's in here. We've got a line to the mooring ball. Okay. It's just gotten a bit too windy, so we're going to pick up the anchor. Well, well firstly, we're going to ditch the line, pick up the anchor, turn around, drive back. Riley's going to jump in the water and grab the rope. And we're going to head off and anchor somewhere else.
Straight ahead. when we were lifting this up underneath there last night because it was quite rough this hit the davit and cracked the hose yeah I'm using the same clamp okay. and we're away that was quick it was pretty quick can I say <laughs> sorry mate Not far from where we were anchored at Jaws Beach, there was what appeared to be an abandoned theme park. We may be able to navigate our way through treacherous waters and coral heads, but when it comes to land, sometimes our instincts can be a little off. I kind of feel like this is like someone's house, like yeah. a millionaire's house. Yeah. And they've just built a little, like, a little theme park Sometimes. for their kids. This is very strange. There's no footprints on the sand, which makes me think that Peter Panish, isn't it? either they're really good at raking their sand every afternoon or this place hasn't been used for a while. Is this, this is private. Is this someone's house? Yes. Oh my gosh. All right, I'm so sorry. <laughs> yeah, we thought it was a, a theme park or something no. that had been deserted. <laughs> no, this is not the first time. Yeah? This is not the first time. It happened all the time. So did they build this for their kids or? Um, No, it's his. We just got kindly kicked off uh, the beach, so it turns out it is private property. Because of the hurricane, there's been a lot of abandoned places everywhere we've gone, so that really looks like an abandoned theme park. And it's just a, it's just a guy's house. So now we're going to the public jetty. <laughs> So good. Right. You want to try? Yeah. You are good. Absolutely perfect. Thank you. It's just completely started pouring down with rain. Our camera has no battery. We're filming on Stefan's phone, <laughs> and I've given up on trying to stay dry. <laughs> <laughs> it's not too bad, actually. It's an amazing <laughs> afternoon. <laughs> That was, that's actually something that I won't forget soon. There was uh, the guys on the beach who were from Cuba, they were really nice. They were surgical with that uh, machete and they chopped up the coconuts for us, which we drank and chomped down. And then it bucketed down and now we're all having a towel party. <laughs> Especially Stefan. Like a boss. <laughs> Let me just put my junk away. <laughs> yeah. We're having spaghetti for dinner. 
your uh, got pretty big shoes to fill after last night alone. Riley made dinner last night and he hasn't stopped talking about it. It's pretty good. It was really great. And what's <laughs> happened here? Well, all the pasta slipped out. And what <laughs> is that? All the pasta Come slipped Come on, tell out. everyone what you did. I slid the box. No, like, you were giving me shit and what? then you took over dinner and then you <laughs> slid in. Honestly. Rally I walked over and there was an entire packet of pasta it was an in the pot, it was an accident. having stolen my dinner. Rally really didn't want to make dinner, but he made dinner last night and it wasn't good, so I refused to leave. And then, and then karma, you stuck the karma. entire packet yes, of pasta in the this. thing. Thank yes, you. You were right, Rally. You're a far better cook than me. I know. It's a lot of palms and cheese you got there, mate. No, it was pretty good, eh? I'm still hungry. I've had heaps of pasta. <laughs> Bit of a hair in it, Alana. Yours. Got an inkside. I'm going to try and find some lobster this morning. So I put my I put my snare and my glove back, and now I'm on fish holding duty for Riley. <laughs> Just diving down trying to find another one. That is table size snapper. I sent a picture to JC actually, and he said, no, nah, it's a guilt head porgy. Delicious eating. Right, you I'm can about tell to cook from it up. the flesh straight away. Yeah, I'm about to cook it. All right. I just wanted to ask everyone if I look like David Foster Wallace a little bit. <laughs> oh, shut up. <laughs> I've been doing a little bit of typing. <laughs> Garlic, butter, salt and pepper. They are all flies. Oh! Oh my gosh. That sound. Good luck, boys. Gracias. I'm okay. So why was the fish on the back of the boat to start with? Um, we went spearfishing and we wanted to keep the leftover to attract some sharks and but we, yeah, yeah. we just kept the fish mm. in the sun yeah. and it was disgusting. Well thanks for taking one for the team. De nada, you're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> Tune in next week for something a little different. We leave Stefan to man the ship whilst Elena and I jump on a little plane to a nearby island to watch the international freediving competition Vertical Blue. We also hang out with a new friend of ours, Australia's champion freediver Adam Stern and his lovely lady Erin Stern. We're going to show you what goes on here at the famous Dean's Blue Hole every year for this competition and we're going to give you a glimpse into the sport of freediving. Okay, that's it. Thank you. Down, down. Her name is tattooed on my lips now. Cause I'm calling, calling for her all around. Baby, take me back.